Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021, and this is my 70, I have to look all the time, 78th floss tube. Welcome back, and welcome if this is your first time. And I do talk about cross-stitching. I do count a cross-stitch pre-stamp cross stitch, beaded cross stitch, we stitch all the, the, the cross stitches. So it, it really was, it, it was a fast week. That That's just all I can say. Oh, and today we're in a different spot. Sorry. Whoops. Oh, crap. Molly, don't start. I did take a picture and I'll insert it in the beginning. Um, of Molly sitting on the couch with her buddies because I'm on the other side of the room because I had to move my desk which usually sits in front of this this window right here the air conditioning was not working well so we had to do something else so I'm using my beautiful cup that I got from Phyllis and this one's yellow for June and next month I think we're going to use the blue one yeah, for July, you know, red, white, blue. Yeah, I think we're going to have all those colors covered. Not real sure. But today I'm drinking lemon, I have to think what it's called, lemon chamomile tea from uh, Simple Truth. Yeah, it's really good. It's refreshing. I don't drink much lemon tea. I don't like lemon zinger. Um, I don't drink much of the uh, Celestial Seasonings, even though they're made in Boulder, which is a hundred and some miles away from me. It's in between, say, here and Denver. Yeah, all the way over there somewhere. So, what did I work on? Well, to start out with, we had two hauls. Um, the first one was all of the kits from Everyday E-Crafts and what I got for Christmas in July because that's what I'm doing. It's Christmas in July. I figured it would be a lot easier than Mania May. You know, it just, yeah. That starting 30 projects just, I don't know, I'd probably, I don't think I'd start 30 projects in a month, you know, given a chance, I probably could, but no. So, um, we had that, and then I got the great big thrift haul, and so I did videos on both of those, so you can see that. And back to Everyday E-Craft, everybody did a, made a vote, if you'd like to, um, on what I was going to start, and we started like one, two, four. we started four of the pre-stamps and I have a new start uh, that I started separately and it's not a, a pre-stamp. So what did we work on? I mean it got it off to a, whoops, I'm just putting my book down, um, a very slow start. You know, I. it is what it is. I think I got the everyday e-craft thing on Thursday. Everybody voted, so I started it on Friday. And the first one that I started on was the uh, purple, make sure it's right side up, purple landscape. Hope oh, it won't be too glary. Yeah, I kept this window shut because it shines a light right on me. Hang right. Just a second. I got to take. All right, I'm back. That was just my daughter. I had to tell her I'd call her back. So anyway, we started this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all those pinks and purples and blues and greens and mm, just gorgeous. It is a I'm guessing 60 by 85. Don't think it says. Nope. Nope, nope. But it comes with two extra skeins of 
two dark blues, I believe. One might actually be 310. Uh, let's look. Nope, no 310. So it's like 939 and 8. Yeah, 939 and 823. So yeah, it's not very big. Well, you know, by my standards. But it is luscious. Just luscious. I love it. So it's probably... 20, 25 inches across this whole piece of canvas. But yeah, so trying to get it back to where it needs to be. And we just worked yeah, on this little corner right here. And some of this, well, it's not real bad confetti, but like checkerboard more so, you know, because there's like two or three colors in here and then you have this lovely background and this is that blues and stuff where they're big so that's all I got done on that I don't know if I'm too focused or not focused enough you know in, in some respects this week I've been focused and others you know I can't stick with something for five minutes so there you go you know how that goes okay Speeding right along. Speed of dirt again. Get that in there. I went to pull out a bag to put these in, and I found out I have one this size, and then there's this one, and it's a little bit smaller. So I don't know if I bought them. From, I don't. I bought these bags several times, so I try to get them big. But they work just great for these smaller, um, for the pre-stamps, you know. Anyway, moving right along. So the next thing that I worked on was Sunset Lighthouse. Isn't that beautiful? Just, mm, 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 mm. just love it. And it's not very big. It is, oh dear, come back here, little Sheba. Uh, 46 by 36. And I believe that's centimeters. So, I guess it goes this way. Yep, so we're just working. Now I can't find it. Oh yes, we started at the top. For some reason, I started at the top. I wanted to get all the blues in this corner in. And it's a 14 count. So, yeah, it's lovely. Just lovely. I bought two sunsets. Or lighthouses. One has, a, like, a sunset. And one of it has, like, sunrise. So, yeah like that one too. I should write on it that it's 14 count. I did write that I got it from Everyday E-Crafts and what month, you know. We're getting more organized as we go, okay? You know, don't expect miracles because, you know, some days we're like right on it. Next time? Oh, not so much. I just want to stitch. Yeah, that's how that happened. And, yep, okay. And the next one has a real crappy picture beautiful thing. I showed you yesterday what this looked like. I think, no, day before. And, and I don't know. They must have blown it up too far because, yeah. But it's the birds with the birdhouse. And, let's see here. It is 30 by 40. So it's not very big at all. So we worked right here and right here. Worked two colors because this bird has like 15 colors in the bird. So I just picked two. Yeah. So it has a lot of confetti. I don't know. I think once you get past that, away from the birds, things will probably go a little bit smoother, smoother if you will. But it's just a little confetti. 
But if the birds are just confetti, they're not very big, so you really don't have to worry about it. I think it... I thought the picture was gorgeous. When I got that, it was like, what did I buy? Yeah, so we're good. Then yesterday, I worked on... I can just find the picture. It's here somewhere. Hang in there. Whoops, it got bended. Hang on. It's on one of those... It looks like a sticker, but it's not. It's just a piece of plastic. But isn't that pretty? I just think it's so simple, and it kind of reminds me of a silhouette-type thing. I don't know. And somebody emailed me. I'm losing my light again. The door shut, of course. I'll try. Um, about that yellow, because it was sitting out, and it is a beautiful yellow. It is... 3822 and that is all the background up in here so yeah it came with a hank of it but it's kind of a what do you call it egg yolk you know a cooked egg yolk look if you will oh my goodness is this gonna be a thing there we go so I was trying to I don't know it's more yeah. Let me put it on this. Maybe it'll turn out better. There you go. And a little bit go more golden. But it is a beautiful yellow. Beautiful yellow. So, wanted to address that. Because somebody did ask. And it's not very big. What did I say it was? 48 by 48. And we started at... Whoops. Needle is on the run. We didn't get much done yesterday because, yeah, it was night and I just, I'm sorry. I should have gotten up earlier, but I just, you know, some days you just can't get out of bed. It's like, nope, we're sleeping in. I did the same thing today. I didn't get up till 8.30. So, yeah. But that's all we got done on it. But it's, see, it's a nice little little one. It's just, just snacky size, sort of, you know. It's mid-snack size. Because snack size, I would say, are the like, the Christmas ones I got that are about that big. Yeah, you could finish it maybe in a couple weeks, have it done by Christmas, you know. That best laid plans, you know. This is why I don't have too many plans too far ahead, because it just doesn't work. I need a drink of tea. It's really good tea. I had the green tea jas with jasmine flowers in it and another one that's a green tea, but I do like that. And I only worked on two counted cross stitch all week. I know. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know what's wrong with me. I really, really don't. This is Hope and Love by Clara and Maud Pickernell, 1881, Bristol Orphanage sampler. It is just going to be stunning. You could do that in any color. You know, I'm doing it in red work. And it's got like 30 or 40 pages to it. But, yeah. I'm trying everything is attaching itself now I hopefully folded this the way it should have been but we'll show you what I worked on then I'll show you the whole thing so I finished this row no yeah I finished this row all the way across so that's like the edge of the page and I'm coming back across here and I'm working both of these, at, you know, until I get to the edge. And then there'll be that small little line right through there. So I've almost got another page finish. So that would be page three. So now let me see if I can open this up a little bit. But it is, I just love this. And it's on, sorry, 16 count country French Cafe Mocha. My favorite one from Witchlet. 
this this is my go-to. It's easy, and I picked this up when I don't want to have to count. I, I mean, you have to count, of course, when you're doing the pattern, but I can see the holes, and I can see where I have to stitch. Does that make sense? Holy cow. We are just screwed up. So, this is like page one, and it goes all of the, the pages for this row go to this line down here. And there's like another one, like I see I started it, but it's like the tops of letters, so I hate that crap. So I'll have to go back. But just loving this. It, it's just, it's soothing. I, and if you wanted to stitch a little letters, you know, this thing certainly has a few thousand letters, billion of letters. There's probably over a million letters in this sampler. Over a million. It's just, it's nothing but let. Well, I can't say it's nothing but letters, but for like the first eight pages, it's nothing but letters. I'll bring it in a little bit closer so you can see it. And then you get, you know, some designs and stuff. And then some motifs at the bottom. So, yeah, if you can live through the rest of it, yeah, it, and it's fine, and it's all cross-stitched. There might be some back stitching involved. I haven't gotten that far into the pattern, so, but I just, just want you to know I love it, and it's, I got it as a PDF, so, yeah, you can see how thick, yeah, it is what it is, but they send you color copies and regular copies and this copy and that copy, and it's like... Just give me the pattern. I don't care if it's in color or not in color. But you could stitch it any color you wanted. Any color. I just wanted to make it my my major red sampler. And I'm using 221 um, DMC. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm all about 221. I love 221 and 4, 489 or 98. Yeah, the one I'm using on something else. I can't remember. But those two blues. I think it's four ninety eight. Yeah. I've used it in other things, but I do like having a red sampler to do. I really do. And I've got at least two, three, maybe three. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm expecting a red project. We'll call it a project because it's not a sampler. Yeah, I ordered it from Amazon and it will probably be here first or second week of July. It has to come from China. But it is one thread color. Go figure. On white Ada. And it's a bunch of fish. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful fish. And it's like 210 centimeters. I don't know. It'll be 8 or 10 feet long. You know, you got something small. Just something we can do on the weekend, right? Just kidding. Then, Friday. Yeah, it must have been Friday. I think. Thursday or Friday. I decided I would do... Let me see if there's a better picture. Up or close. Whoa. Hang on. I'm about to lose my, my thread. I decided to start this one. It's Willing Hands. She, she works with Willing Hands in Delight. It's Blackbird, and it is out of... There's the front picture. Sorry. There you go. But I just thought it was pretty, and I'm using... 20, no, I am not. I am using that. Remember I bought three different colors of peach in small for the Tudor B? Well, this is the other peach, and it is 28 count Chalice. Yeah, Chalice Lugana. And I'm using all silky threads in this. So I'm just sewing at will. This is all that I've gotten done. 
since Friday. Yeah. But it's just small. There's maybe, there's all those words like she works with right there. And then there's like an order, perhaps. Yeah, she works with is up there above that. And so we're not too far from the top once I get to the top of these two flowers here. And then we'll work that away. Yep, I had to make sure it's going the right way. But it's really coming along really well. This fabric is like butter. It's beautiful. And I can't say that much about some Lugonas. I don't know. But this is Lugana from Picture This Plus, so it works well. It works well. Nice and soft. Because I've gotten 16 count that has been, you know, dyed a certain specific color. It's the worst. It, it, it's like it's crunched up. You can't find the little X's unless you stretch the material. I might, what do you call it? iron the material. I know. I don't iron very often. Can you tell? I don't own things that have to be ironed constantly. It, it's just not happening for me, but yeah. But I do iron some of my fabric, but it's just, just coming along. But just using a whole wide variety, and we know we have a wide variety. Came close to getting some more, but oh, the sulkies. So, I don't know. We'll see. It'll depend. And that, guys, I know. That's it. That's all I worked on at this week. I <coughs> consistently sewed from Friday. Well, I did take, go to sleep and all that, but consistently I worked just on the willing hands while I was watching whatever was on Netflix, that kind of thing. Yep, I just didn't feel like stitching on anything else. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know you'd think I would be sick. but And yesterday, I couldn't get it together for nothing. So, I apologize that the video didn't come out until way late in the day. So, we're going to try not to do that again. Alright. So, let's get on to this week's giveaway. And it is I Love Gardening by Joy Sunday. Uh, it does have a little glare. I'm sorry. But it's a beautiful pattern. It's just, it's got all the things and all the elements. They, they know how to make a picture. It just, or whoever designed them, they did good. So I put everybody's name for everybody that wanted to participate in the drawing into my little thing. I couldn't find the other one to save myself because I moved everything around and, you know, things get put away. <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. Sorry. So, I found this one and this is what we're going to use. So, the winner of the gardening one is we have a, a name. It's right here. I'm trying to put the lid on this so that we don't have to play 52 card pickup, you know. Okay, and the winner of the gardening one is Miss Jill Green. Jill Green. So, I'm going to put that, where is it, into this. Because if I don't, you know, crap happens around here. Honestly, I mean, yeah. So, Jill, um, I will comment on your comment. And I know you're a subscriber, so not a problem. So, um, comment. I'll comment on your comment with my email address. And if you can get back to me with your shipping address, I will gladly mail this out to you. Next week's, now I've got it crinkled just a second. Just a second. Okay, the giveaway is going to be this beautiful moonlit lighthouse. Isn't that just stunning? Just stunning. I love it. And it doesn't say on that how big it is. I know, more crinkling involved. It does have 
They're nicely done. They're like 100 feet long, but they're on this kind, so all you do is just pull it out. So that is very, very easy. Just I'm gonna move that down there. Looked like it was going to escape. So does the green. Hey! Motor mouth. Molly says hi. Okay. So it has, mm, I'm guessing, 18 colors. Just gorgeous. So let me fold that up. But they're really easy to get off the card. Keeping them all straight. Keeping them all straight. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And it comes with, this one is at least gridded. This is the key and the, um, yes, I was going to say, the symbols that are here are the same as the ones on the, uh, the picture itself, you know, the canvas, so stuff a magnifying glass fuck up ladies you got this you can all see that right and I just I have to take my glasses off sometimes but it, yeah and it doesn't look like it has too much confetti in it because it's not very big it is probably like I would say this is from here to here at the bottom is maybe 16 inches this way and it's just got about an inch and a half off you know around the edge so yeah it's not too big not too scary and it does have some big spaces so yeah just love the way that picture looks and it comes with a little thing card separately isn't that cute Kind of like the diamond paintings. So it lists the number, what number of thread it is, what the symbol is, this is the color that it is, and this is the DMC. Yep, DMC. So if you would like to be considered or selected, I don't know how else to say it, for the lighthouse, please put lighthouse in the comments somewhere. And I will put your name in the drawing for the lighthouse. All right. And I don't see anything that said how big it was at all. But I would say I don't have my, my thing here. Mm. Oh, I didn't tell you either. Oh, goodness. The light, sun went behind a cloud. It is an it's an 11 count. I had to see. Yeah. So I would say about 30 by 40, 25 by 40. I'm guessing. I don't know. But as you can see, it's not very big. So this piece is probably 12 inches across, maybe 12 to 14 inches across by about 16 or 18 inches down. So, all right. Let me. It's going to be a crinkle a minute. It gets stuck on the. Trying to get it shut so it stays nice. I was looking to see. No, it doesn't say on here. Does not say. No. And that sticker has nothing to do with what that is. Because I probably got the wrong one in the wrong bag. But it's bagging. It'll be, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. So if you'd like that, put the word lighthouse in the comment section below and I will consider you or put you into the drawing to be drawn for that. Joe Green, please get a hold of me um, after I email on your comment from last week. And that, I know, like I said, it was a fast week. In a way, it, I don't know. It just seemed like it took no time at all to get to where we're at right now. Because I feel like yesterday I had floss tube. What are you doing? I know, you're not sitting right there. She's looking at me. She's like, what are you doing all the way across the room? 
It is what it is, kid. It is what it is. I have no other place to put this this recliner. No, there, no, not unless I want to move it every time I do use it, work on my desk. So I need to move something or get rid of something or something. I don't know. And contacting my daughter right now. She's not, she's about getting her kitchen reorganized. So it's like, okay, just walk away and yeah, I'll call you next week. It'll be fine. So nothing needs to be done as right now um i'm getting close to 2000 subscribers and i haven't quite decided what i'm going to do for that but yeah it's a big deal i mean it took me forever to get to a thousand subscribers and now it seems like it's been a year it took a year to get to another subscriber <coughs> i mean another thousand subscribers so we'll see we'll see what I can come up with all right okay I think that's gonna be it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy God bless and we will see you tomorrow for another stitch along bye bye keep stitching